Psychosis is considered a silent killer because you may not even know you have this disease until years later when you fracture a bone. You see, half a century ago, this disease was virtually unheard of, and yet today more than 27 million elderly North Americans are adversely affected by this tragic condition. Today, hip fractures are killing more women than breast cancer and more men than even prostate cancer. What is equally alarming is that approximately half of all hip fracture survivors will not fully recover and will remain permanently disabled. Well, this was an unprecedented report on bone health issued by the U.S. Surgeon General a few years ago. And the report stressed that if no immediate action was taken, we would be facing a major health problem. And he emphasized that osteoporosis is a serious condition that could lead to a downward spiral of physical health and quality of life, including the ability to work, stand up, or dress, and could lead to premature death. Osteoporosis should not be considered a grandmother disease, and we all need to take better care of our bones. Yeah, it's an interesting fact, isn't it? Despite this fact, both Canada and the United States have two of the highest rates of osteoporosis. So one has to wonder what is happening here. How can it be that we consume more calcium pills, drink more milk, eat more dairy products, and yet osteoporosis rates have not improved? study and countless other scientific studies, various dairy promotion agencies continue to promote dairy products and tell us that osteoporosis can be improved or prevented by simply drinking more milk or eating more dairy products. Some are now suggesting that this may be more of a marketing campaign instead of actually being based on fact. Well, our report dispels many of the common myths surrounding osteoporosis. And because we're not affiliated with any other company or not in the business of selling any supplements, we want to just give you some of the information out there. And then you can sift through it and you decide for yourself. Yeah, you want to make certain it's absorbed. All the calcium in the world will not protect your bones if it's not properly being absorbed by the body. In fact, many calcium pills go right through and they end up in your toilet. So we talk about that a little bit. Well, I bet your doctor never told you that there are foods that actually are bad for your bones. And we look at some of the common foods which inhibit the absorption of calcium, as well as leach calcium from the bones. Well, exercise can have a great impact in reducing the threat of osteoporosis and may be one of the best methods of treating this disease. So it's important to select the right form of exercise. And in the osteoporosis report, we list some of the top forms of exercise in building bone mass. Well, calcium is only digested by high levels of acid in your stomach. If this acid is low or reduced by things like antiacids, the calcium in foods and supplement may not be fully absorbed and will be deemed useless in many degrees as far as the fight against osteoporosis. Now, interestingly, that by the age of 50, the stomach produces less than 20% of the acid it did at the age of 25. So we're going to look at ways of maximizing calcium absorption. Many doctors have not yet recognized that excess phosphorus can cause or at very least contribute to osteoporosis. When you ingest too much phosphorus due to its acidic state, this mineral will neutralize calcium. There is an obvious connection between the increase of phosphorus within our diet and the increase in osteoporosis. And in this report, we explain the connection. And today, many of our processed foods are packed with phosphorus, and many other foods will be exposed in the report. Only a few researchers now realize the importance of maintaining a proper pH balance for good health. They also realize that osteoporosis suffers 
body is usually in a highly acidic state. And the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition reported that a study uh, that found that women eating a high acid producing diet can almost have four times greater rate of fractures than women eating fewer acid forming foods. And we look at this a little bit in the report. Bone density. While some of today's common drugs may be responsible for increasing your body's risk of osteoporosis, Spinach is generally considered a healthy food by most health authorities. The biggest problem with spinach and several other healthy foods is that it's high in what's called oxalic acid. Numerous studies tell us that oxalic acid inhibits calcium absorption. And in this report, we list several wholesome foods that are high in oxalic acid and should be avoided if you want to reduce your risk of osteoporosis. You know, when your doctor recommends 1,000 or 1,500 milligrams of calcium, what is he or she referring to? Is your doctor referring to elemental calcium or is it compound calcium? Is there a difference? Does it matter? Well, the answer is there's a major difference and yes, it really does matter. You very possibly could be ingesting a lot less calcium than you ever imagined unless you know the difference between compound and elemental. And the osteoporosis report explains the difference between compound and elemental minerals in a way that's simple to understand. There are some foods that we regularly consume which have a negative effect on osteoporosis, while others have a very positive effect on bone building. In our report, we also give you a list of foods that you should include in your diet as well as avoid in your diet. Well, there are many forms of calcium supplements on the market, as you probably know. Uh, tablets and caplets and capsules and powders and liquids are just a few forms available. And in our report, we also name some of the best types of calcium and what to look for on a label and the vitamins that should be taken with calcium so that it's properly absorbed and properly assimilated by the body. Also, my report, it, we give the information um, about when you should be taking your calcium in order to maximize its potential.